The reason we called it the Human Animal Trust is obviously human plus animal equals human animal. And at the end of the day, we all breathe air, we all have skeletons, we all have organs, we're all going to die. We are animals. There's very little difference between you, me and a dog. There we go. Hi Flynn, how are you? It's fine. We could change the world, Christine, we could change the world. Thank you very much. Take care. Thanks so much for coming, Neil. Thanks. Thank I you. saw you in the back there. Thanks for believing, man. Good yeah. man. Thank you so much. My life's goal from now on is to reconverge human and animal medicine. The objective of the charity is to fund ethical and morally well-placed research that will help both animals and humans at the same time. That means that if you're going to develop a drug, or if you're going to develop some stem cells, or if you're going to develop some techniques or some implants that are going to help humans, let's do it so that the animals win as well. Good morning, everybody! Good morning. I'm so thrilled you're all here. Thank you so much for being on the Great Dog Walk. This dog walk is in support of the Human Animal Trust, which is a charity that I've set up. I've believed since I was a child that it's a real shame that animals have given their lives to give us the drugs and the implants that we need. But sometimes those implants and drugs do not come back in the opposite direction. What most people don't realize is you can't get a single drug or a single implant in your baby or yourself or your grandmother that hasn't been tested in an animal. And it's hard to think about that, isn't it? It's hard to think, well, this knee replacement that I'm getting was tried out in a dog 30 years ago, and now I have it by virtue of that dog being sacrificed to give me my knee. 98% of people in the UK don't even question where their tablets come from or where their knee replacement comes from. Do you really think that it suddenly exists? No, it does not. It exists because an animal gave their life to make it exist. Is it not time that we should reconverge human medicine and animal medicine? Is it not time because we are more or less the same? We have emotions, we have feelings. It is our moral responsibility to move science forward so that we save lives, we save limbs and we make a difference. The Human Animal Trust is really special to me because to my knowledge it's the only charity in the world that's funding clinical research in animals and humans at the same time, both working side by side in a clinical environment where it really matters, at the bedside of the patient. Have you got one of these? No, I haven't. It's uh, details on the Human Animal Trust. It's to get veterinary and doctors working together. It's Noel's charity set up to try and bridge the gap between uh, veterinary medicine and human medicine. I didn't realise that the advances were really sort of going in two separate ways, that we weren't learning from each other. Trying to share ideas, share research, because obviously there's a lot of correlation between the two. Yeah, what a good idea. Yeah, yeah it is. Thank you very We're trying much. to spread the word. He's saying we can do all this, this is all possible, and it's not just for animals, it's also for human beings as well. I, I thought it was amazing. He transforms lives, not just the dog's lives, but also human lives, because it's a partnership. We could fast track a lot of implants much quicker if human and animal medicine work side by side and you wouldn't need to sacrifice the lives of so many animals to get what you want because we already have the solutions if we would only help each other. Why would you not learn from that and inform human medicine? And why would we not learn from what's happening in humans and inform dogs? The Human Animal Trust is all about that. It's about human and animal healthcare converging together. It's my life stream. It's the only reason I do any of this stuff because this is celebrity nonsense is just that, it's nonsense. There's a huge amount of knowledge that we've got in human practice that really can flow the other way back into veterinary practice. And I think this is Noel's particular idea to open that pathway so it's a two-way street rather than one way. The benefits to both are actually there to be taken and it's something that we really must continue to explore. What you're about to do really matters. And what you're about to do is take a walk on the Great Dog Walk, not just to celebrate the love that you have for your dog, but also to celebrate the fact that animals give us so, so much, and it's time to give it back. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm deeply grateful. Let's go on the Great Dog Walk. Let's go!